Hey, this is Steven here. I have a new 14-inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processors and my 13-inch MacBook Pro M1 processor. We're starting off by looking at the display. The new 14-inch MacBook Pro has 14.2-inch display, including this notch or rabbit ear that is top of this much larger screen display. Before, it was 13.3-inch MacBook Pro. The newer model also has higher pixel density going from 227 to 254 ppi. There's dramatic brightness difference as well. Between these two machines, the new 14-inch MacBook Pro has a top of brightness of 1000 nits, which is double of 500 nits brightness of the 13-inch MacBook Pro. Let's talk about the display. We also have the promotions, of course, on the new MacBook Pro that allow it to ramp up to 120 hertz, which is going to give you a much better, smoother, responsive browsing experience than before. Keyboard Apple has a new black backing behind the keyboard, and it seems doesn't change much at all. And pretty much the touch bar has been removed. Instead of putting, instead of that is a new row of physical function key on the far right. On the far right, we still have our Touch ID, but the rest of the bar is gone. It looks more squarish right now. Okay, I feel like a little bit taller, a little bit taller. When both of these are closed, okay, you can see this part a little bit larger and this part a little bit smaller. When we look at this left side of this new MacBook Pro, we have our Mac safe that is coming back and we have two USB-C and the head jack phone and on the left side there's only two USB-C Thunderbolts on the other side that is a SDXC card slots and another Thunderbolt USB-C and the HDMI port that's capable of running a 4K display monitor on the 30 inch MacBook Pro it's just a little bit more limited where instead merely have a head jack phone on the right side. The new MacBook Pro has the ability to have a fast charge, which can give you 50% power in only 30 minutes. We also see a big difference between these speeds of these machines with the new Fortress MacBook having much faster SSD. I hope you like my review. If you do, please do subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button. It means so much to me to produce more video to you in the future. Please remember to check out my next video.